Miss Vasilyeva, I'm really sorry, but I can't make it. Why can't you make it? We have the tickets. The show is wonderful. The company is great. What happened? Well, spill it out to me already. You're like an x-ray machine. I'm not your x-ray machine. I'm your friend. I have problems with Sergei. Haven't you reconciled? I'm getting on his nerves about having a baby. There must be a reason he's afraid. Tanya may be jealous. He's afraid the family will collapse. You've just described some kind of apocalypse. That doesn't usually happen. Things just fall into place naturally. I don't know what to do. But I do. You take your phone, dial your husband, you tell him to be ready in half an hour, you take time off, go take him, and hide him in a spa resort in the countryside. There, you'll make peace and agree on everything. Miss Vasilyeva, maybe we should take a couple days off to visit Mikhailov. He's been inviting us for ages. An option, too. Hold this. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, you want a drink? <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> to the ladies. <laughs> okay, you guys. Let's go for a ride. So much. So much. I'm so scared. As if this will never end, Sasha. Don't be scared. Don't. I'm right here with you. I was scared then, too. How did you get over this? I really didn't. I'm still getting over it. But life didn't end, although I wanted it to then. I still live. And my family is always with me in my heart. The main thing is that we are together. We are together. And Dad is always with us. Maybe even closer than before. Lena, go to bed. I'm only by myself. Well, never mind. It's too late. You've already woken me up. Now I won't be able to fall asleep again. 
You know I'm a light sleeper and you're being disrespectful. I'm a busy bee all day long, all day long. <sighs> Lena, sit down please, why don't we talk? <sighs> I'm very sorry. What? I'm sorry, it's my fault. It's my fault we're struggling, you know? It's me. We often quarrel, but it's not important because we're together in this marriage. It's good that you understand that it's your fault. Lena. Let's forget everything and start again. Hmm? Do you remember what we wanted? A family, a lot of children? <laughs> it's you who wanted to have a lot of children. Well, everything is real. I think the second child can help save our marriage. What do you think? Are you out of your mind? A second child? I'm overstretching myself with Slavic alone. I have no time for myself. I had a baby right away. And now these diapers and nappies again? It was so hard to lose weight. You didn't like to live with a cow, did you? Sasha, guess what? They said I'm the best in the class at painting portraits. Let's buy some special brushes for me, huh? There's an exhibition at school soon. Sasha, hey. I'm sorry, what did you say? You don't listen to me at all. I'm sorry, honey. Don't be angry. I just have a splitting headache. I'm not angry. But if you have any problems, you could share them with me. I'm not a young girl anymore. No, 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 thank you. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Sasha! Nerves are the cause of illnesses. You should have some rest. Go to the sea. There's so many package tours to Turkey now. Yeah, yeah. I need some rest. Maybe we should call someone to come to take you home? Sasha! Oh, they've already come. That's wow. great. Have a nice day. Stay well. It's funny running into you so many years. Uh, uh, what are you doing here? Are you sick? Are, are you okay? No, just a stupid accident. Uh-huh. And I, I see you, uh, I, I, I come here every day. D Dad has made me come. Igor, I'm so sorry. I'm late for work. No, I, I won't let you go. How about we both go to a cafe? Igor, I don't want anything. I don't want anything. Sasha. Huh? I will do the schedule for the trainees in just a minute. Uh, you don't have to. We'll sort it out ourselves. Sasha, you don't look too well. Of course, it's high time you went on vacation. You know what? Go home right away, okay? Yes, thank you. I'll just prepare everything so that when I'm not Nothing here... terrible will happen while you're not here. They can survive. The beauty business mm. is not going to fall apart. <laughs> Hello yeah. to everyone. <laughs> yes, of course. I am Miss Vesalieva. <laughs> look at you. You look simply awful. You're pale. You've lost weight. You've pushed yourself to the limit. We should do something. You go to the spa hotel, and they'll bring you back to life. I'll call them. No, no, thank you. But why? I'll go to my hometown instead. I used to be afraid, but I'm feeling homesick. I'm not afraid now. Please go already. Home grounds will definitely help. Sasha? Sasha, open it, it's me! <laughs> Sasha! <laughs>
Sascha! Sasha, open up. Sasha, I know. Open. I want to see you, Sasha. Mr. Zorsky, good afternoon. Your son is here and, I love you. Open and up. he's drunk and trying to break into my door. Sasha, I miss you so much, you understand, don't you? Why? Let me go. I, I want don't touch me with your hands. Get off! Stop it! Let go of me! No! Get off! <sighs> what? Have you come to see what you've done? Admire it? Well, look, look, look what you've driven him to. Rejoice! You know that this is not my fault. Igor's done it himself. I've come out to make sure that everything is okay. Ah, as I thought. Innocent as a lamb, huh? Why do people around you die like flies? First your family, then your husband. Dad, I feel like throwing up. Stay in there! <laughs> if you're trying to get to me and wound me, it's not gonna work. I'm already over it. Good luck to you. Are you? What if I tell you that your sister's alive? And I know how to find her. Tanya, it's only for one week. You think that's enough for me? In a village with some old women? First of all, not in a village, but in a summer house. And not with some old women, but with your own grandmother. You know, I used to see this grandmother once a year. You even told me that we would never part, and now you're trying to leave me. I am begging you right now, sweetheart. I really need this week. I really need it. So take me with you, I beg you, please. Then there won't be any problems. I can't. Please don't be angry with me. I'll be back in a week and we'll be together. Forever and ever. Please, you know that I've never lied to you. Then, mm. who do you want to see? Auntie Oksana, it's me, Sasha. Sasha, you're alive. I heard a rumor that you had died in your husband's bike crash. I am alive, as you can see. Mm. So tell me, what did you want here? I just arrived this morning, had to visit my friend straight away. Uh -huh. Well. I also really wanted to see Dennis. Hmm. <laughs> That's a bad idea? Yes, very bad. Dennis is married with a son. Why stir up the past? What did you have there anyway? Childish friendship. He forgot about you long ago. Ah. <sighs> hmm. Yes. Maybe you're right about that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Shall I go? Good luck to you. And don't worry, I am not going to seek him out. I'm not worried. Go on now. Who 
are you talking to? No one. They had a wrong address. Yes, Uncle Igor. I'm going to the cemetery now. Okay, okay, see you soon. Sit down and do your homework. Mom, I don't want what, what to. What do you mean I don't want to? I said sit down and do your homework. I don't want I to. I said sit down already or you will go to vocational school. Do you hear me? Here's an apple for you. You shouldn't buy him so many toys. Then he would study. I tell Dennis the same exact thing, yet he continues to pamper him. Are you going to study English? No. All right, you're punished. Go to your room. Maybe you should take some pills. You're all nerves, really. You look frazzled. Come on, you might think somebody would notice. Well, I don't care, but you have a husband. We're just fine, okay? You know better. But today I saw Sasha in front of our apartment. I talked to her. She was Dennis's first love. Yes, I know who Sasha is. So has she gotten old and fat? Why did she come here? You know better. Of course I told her everything, the way it is. But she's become so hot and pretty. High society, ooh. Yes, she used to be a dashing girl, and so? And so now what happens? You should save your marriage. It's so hard. Of course it is. It's your family. <laughs> My God, how hard it's all been. It's so hard. <laughs> Sasha, are you okay? His words are driving me mad. Whose words? Andre's. Dad's friend, do you remember? I saw him before coming back here. He said that Dasha is alive. What a bastard. How could he say such a thing? He thinks his wife died because of me. Oh, that's why he decided to wound you, then. Do you remember Dasha's pendant, which wouldn't burn in a fire? It was never found, was it? Sasha, don't make things up. It burned. It melted. What are you doing? Uh, 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 uh. You see that? It didn't even melt on the surface. You said it was a special alloy or something. Do you understand now why these words are driving me mad? Sasha, you sound a little crazy right now. The pendant could have been stolen, maybe by the police. Think about how many years it's been. If she'd been alive all this time- I understand, I understand. But I still can't live in peace now. I can't give up having some hope. Well, then he just hit you in your weakest spot. What if not? Sasha, don't torture yourself. Miracles never happen. But if you want, let's put pressure on him. 
And he'll confess that he lied, and then you'll calm down. But it's best to leave it as it is. I think that the state he's in, he's dangerous. Yeah, okay. All right, then. I'll think about what to do next. I'm going out for a walk. I want to think a second. So gorgeous. Well, I wanted to spend some time with you, so I asked Slavic and your mother to go to my parents for the night. And? I remember you said something about dinner. Well, yes, the fish will be ready in a minute, but I suggest starting with a little dessert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lena. Hmm? <clears throat> Please don't. Again? What is wrong with you, huh? Well, Lena, everything is okay. I'm just not in the mood. Yeah, well, you're never in the mood. I'm trying to save our marriage, and you're just here acting like a... like an innocent little girl. Come on, let's not fight, huh? And just have dinner. I'm not hungry. What normal guy, tell me, would choose, choose not to have sex? Or what, have you been with that Sasha of yours? Huh? Who's that? With your heavenly love. She came here today. It's good that your mother turned her from the door some kind of princess as if we were expecting her. She's a dumb witch and you're a real bastard. Well, what else do you need, huh? What else? Where are you going? Don't walk out on me! I'm so sorry.
Sasha, where are you going? Forget everything about last night. You have your own life, I have mine. You have a wife, a child, and- Hold on, Sasha. Stop, 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 stop. I just wanted to tell you I'm getting a divorce. I found out Dasha is alive. Nothing else matters to me now. I'm sorry. Sasha. So what? You finally come home? You haven't slept here. You weren't at work. You've driven your wife into a terrible fit, your mother to a heart attack. Has that witch brainwashed you again? Was it Sasha? loved her. Get out! Go away! Get out! Bastard! You slime! You rascal! I've given you so many years! I loved you so much! How can you do this to me? How dare you do this? What do you know about Dasha? <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Sit down, sit down. What makes you think I'll give you any information? Have a drink. I don't drink. Uh-huh. Well, then I won't either. And Igor's drinking hard. Don't you wonder why my boy is drinking? Do you think you have nothing to do with any of it? Huh. <laughs> okay. Can I talk to Martinov? He's the best informer I work with. Mm-hmm. Oops. Disconnected. We'll dial him again. I've changed my mind. Please help me. I am begging you. Ah. You must help me find my sister, my family. Ah. Ah. Please, you loved your wife. You know what it's like to lose a loved one. What if you had a chance again? <sighs> Do you want money for the information? <laughs> money? <laughs> what can you pay me? After your husband died, his daughter got all of it. So then what? What then? Then nothing, that's what. I just want you to say at least. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Uncle Andre, I have ruined your family, killed your wife, betrayed your son. What? Why are you silent? What? Why are you silent? Arrogant, aren't you? You've broken our lives and you think you'll get away with it. I feel sorry for you. You betrayed a friend. Let your son slip away. Will it be easier for you if I say forgive me? I doubt it. You can't blame me for anything that has gone wrong. Goodbye. Don't call me again. Are you stupid bitch? <sighs> well, let me just see for myself. Well, my son got all crazy about you. You witch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I'm not giving you a divorce. You've already said we should get divorced. Well, I've changed my mind. And I haven't. Dennis, please stop this. You'll give me a heart attack. Please don't. <laughs> please, you have a family. It happens to everyone. What about Slavic? Mom, what about Slavic? What are you talking about? He has true love now. He doesn't need his son. So if you leave now, you'll never see him again. Do you understand? Do Lena, you stop it, please. We'll talk when you calm down. Oh, go to hell. I hate you. Well, what? Why are you doing this, huh? Sasha has thrown you off balance. Mom, she has absolutely nothing to do with it at all. Sasha's left. She doesn't need me. I'm not leaving for her. I'm leaving Lena. The fact is, we never loved each other and it would only be getting worse. Just please admit it! Bastard! Why did you ask to have a second child then, huh? It's a good thing that I had that abortion or I, I would be left alone with two children by myself. <laughs> Sasha, can I have a minute, please? Excuse me, of course, but it's outrageous what you're doing there. I should have some more practice. Yes, of course you should, but actually, you're the best stylist, and for some reason, I'm not seeing it. Start focusing, or should I ask someone else to step in for you? I'll do my best. Well, okay. The contest representatives are coming to the salon soon, and I want to introduce you so that you could discuss all the details together. And so- Just a minute. Oh, it's my daughter's school. Yes? Tanya hasn't been to school today. What happened to her? Is she sick? I didn't know. You'd better come to school. Yes, of course, I will. What time are you coming? Excuse me, but could I come in tomorrow? Well, make sure you come. I definitely will. Then see you tomorrow. Thank you. Such a sum, urgently. Have you gone nuts? Are you drunk? Dad, I, I need money. You, 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 you. If you want, I'll, I'll humble myself and I'll, I'll go down on my knees and beg. Well, I just, I desperately What's need it. Okay, please. You? What's wrong with you? I, I can't help. Well, now guess what? My printer is broken. What should I do then? I don't know what you should do. Do whatever you want. You, 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 you don't understand. It's a matter, it's a matter of life and death, Dad. Okay. I hear such drama a hundred times a day from you. That's it. I'm leaving for a week on a business trip. Don't go, Good Dad. Luck. Don't go. Give me the money. Dad, give me the money, huh? Come on. Come on. That, that, Hands off! That's not enough. Hold on. That's Here. not... No, that's not enough. enough! Enough! For bread. What? Don't like the song? Then I'll go ahead and put another one. I got a call from the school today. So? You didn't go today. So what? Wait, excuse me? You don't care? Why are you so calm about it? Look, they called you and they told you that I didn't show up. And you don't care, so I don't care either. Yes, but I do care. Really? And why didn't you come then, huh? I have a lot of work. I couldn't come mm -hmm. then. Your work, your work. You said that we'll always be together. Though who am I to you, Sasha? I'm just the remainder of a past life. Tanya, stop saying that. You know it's not true in any way. Yes, it is. Admit it, please. Look, you'd better give me to grandmothers or give me to an orphanage or something. Then you'll be able to enjoy work and your love affairs. You'll have complete freedom. Please, let's just both calm down a little. We'll tell each other ugly things and then we're going to regret this.
I'm going through a difficult time. A lot of work. I have a lot on my plate. I really need your support. Really? Well, my parents died. Did you forget about that? Let's have some tea with something delicious. Does that sound good? The two of us are tired and we're overreacting, hmm? All of these words, they don't mean anything, do they? Yes, they do. Those words mean that I don't want to have tea with you. I told you, you'll get your money. I already have half of it, okay? Trust me. I only need a couple more days, all right? Then go to hell. Who is it? Mr. Azorski? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mr. Azorski at home? Do you owe him some money? No, I have some business. Ah, uh, well, I see. Mr. Zorsky. No, he's not here. My dad's not home. He's gone on a business trip. Weird, weird. He didn't tell me. Well, I have some important information for him. What kind of information? I beg your pardon. This information is for your father. <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> I'm not really curious. <laughs> you, you know what we could do, huh? For you not to waste any time? You can just leave the envelope here, and as soon as my dad comes home, I'll give it to him. Hand delivery. Please, don't worry. Well, maybe he doesn't need it anymore, but since he doesn't answer your calls... What do you want? My dad hired a private detective to find your sister. Did you know that? So? Well, he's found out something. I could share it with you, but only on my terms, okay? And what do you want? Take a guess. I am not sleeping with you. <laughs> what I need from you is $200,000. I don't have much money. You have an apartment? It's not mine. Well, that's not my problem. Just go to hell. It's your choice. You may regret it later. But what if he knows something and I'm wasting time? In my opinion, you did the right thing here. It's just not clear what to do now. I think you can contact this detective directly. This information can't cost so much. Igor can't have paid $200,000 for it. He'll sell it to you for a very different price. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Do you know what kind of detective he is? Andre said his name was... Martinov. That's it. We've as good as found him. Search the internet. Why are you sighing? Uh, I'm just so tired. I have too many things on my plate now and problems with Tanya. I'm losing both my family and my work. Oh, all right. Why don't we split up? You go find peace with your family while I go search for this Martinov. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Thank you doesn't pay the bill, my love. You owe me a fantastic haircut. Sure, I okay? can do that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hmm. See you soon. Perfect timing that you showed up now. I've already prepared your money. I'm really satisfied with your work. I'm so pleased. Yes, very pleased. Yeah, I'm glad too. Get in touch, if anything. Glad but gloomy. Come on, I've already heard about it. Living in our town, it's like a village. They say that uh, you've left your wife. Is that true? I couldn't bear it anymore, Mr. Ilian. I just couldn't. 
Honestly, I can't even talk about it. Hmm. Okay, look. Let's have a drink. And celebrate the new house. Come on. Okay. Mmm. Have some fish. My friend sent it in from the city. Please, help yourself. Yes, thank you. I'm not shy. What a house, huh? I thought I'd have just a small one, but I got carried away. <laughs> it was a huge project. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The house is quite nice. Why not? Now I want to live properly. I've saved some money, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could save as much as you. Though if I wanted to, I should have gone to work in police. Mm -hmm. The salary, it's really low there. If it hadn't been for bonuses, for special services. Yeah, what kind? Come on, drink up. Let's not talk about it. You'd better tell me, why have you left your family? <sighs> well, I don't love her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not a quick thinker. How many years have you been together? It doesn't matter. I lived by inertia, you know? Mm. And when I met my first love, I realized that I loved her my entire life. Mm -hmm. Mm. But we parted long ago, quite stupidly too. Man, I used to be such a fool. Mm -hmm. And I'm still one. I lost my Sasha. Yeah, I remember your Sasha. Poor girl. And also, the story with the death of her family. Ah, oh, some, it wasn't good. It's pretty muddy. Muddy. You know something about this? Mm. Mm. Damp vodka loosens my tongue. I'm sorry. Mm. I don't want to get into this again. Let's just... We'll have another drink. Would that be all right with you? Tanya? Tanya, I'm home. I bought lots of fun goodies. Let's have some unhealthy food tonight and no one will scold us. Hey, Tanya. Tanya, honey. Tanya? Igor, I don't have time for you. You should find some. He called and said that he was holding Tanya. I'm begging you to help me find my daughter. She's there all alone with him and he's a very dangerous person. Azorsky is the son of a wealthy, influential official. Why does he need your teenager? Or maybe she's run after him. Is that possible? Hmm? How could you even think that? They mature so early now. They see a man with money and jump into his bed. Igor was extorting money from me and kidnapped her to take revenge. Lady, you have some megalomania. Look, who are you? And him. For him, your income is pocket change. Your Tanya will have fun and come back. And if she doesn't, then come back here. We'll look for her. Tanya? What Tanya? What are you doing, Sasha? Where the hell are you? The contest starts in 10 minutes. Miss Pavlova, I'm sorry, I can't come. My daughter's been kidnapped. Do you understand what that means at all? I'm counting on you. 
I've paid for you to participate in the contest. Your participation has been announced. I'm not coming. Let someone do it instead of me, please. Well, you ungrateful thing. I've done so much for you, and you... You know what? Don't bother coming back to work. You're fired. me money and all this is her fault if she brings me the money then you're free of her my whole life's in ruins. <laughs> Do you think you're worth like like anything? Sasha, hello, listen. I finally found that Martinov. Who? The detective Izorsky hired, you know. I told him everything about you, all of it. He's ready to meet with you and talk to you. Write down his telephone number. Oh, Miss Vasilyeva, I'm sorry, I can't now. My daughter has disappeared. I see. Well, don't despair, darling. And, and call me, call me, if you need anything. Yes, yes, okay, okay, thank you. Or Sasha. I'm not going anywhere ever again. Why are you crying, Sasha? Everything's fine. We're together, finally. Pack your things, let's go home. No, I can't. Pack your things. I'll build a house for us. I already found the land. Dennis, I can't. I have Tanya. Tanya will live with us, of course. It's not even a discussion. By the way, Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Igor kidnapped her. The police don't want to look for her, and I don't know what to do. What should I do? <sighs> okay. Okay, just, just hold on a second. Hold on. <clears throat> Hello, Pavel. Hi, it's Dennis. Yes, I'm in Moscow. I've just arrived. We'll meet even sooner than you think. My daughter's been kidnapped. Yes, we already did that. Mm -hmm. The police are going to do nothing, so you're our only real hope. Uh, ham and cheese pizza, uh, a salad with shrimps, and uh, uh, but, uh, two bottles of whiskey. Uh, hold on a sec. You want some cake? 
And some cakes. Thank you. I served in the army and returned home. And Pavel went to Moscow. He's risen to the rank of major now. He's in charge of the special forces. He'll find this Igor in no time. Okay. I remember him. That impudent face. Why were you with him? I don't know. I was in deep despair. A new city, no place to live. Mm. When I called, your mother said that you were getting married. And Igor was saying that he loved me. He persuaded me to marry him. So I believed him. Okay, that's it. That's over now. Now the main thing is to find Tanya. You know, I wondered, why did your mother treat me like that? She was jealous. Sasha, she brought me up completely alone and didn't want to share me. Well, apparently she saw you as a rival. What kind of rivalry could be between us? She's your mother. Well, I guess that she was simply afraid that, that I'd love you more than her. Please, though. Please harbor no grudge. No, of course not. Well, anyway... I guess a mother's love can be blind. There are no hard feelings. Parents are above all. Well, you know, I quarreled with my dad before the fire. And I couldn't ask for forgiveness. Oh, please, Sasha, what do you mean? Hmm. I'm sure he'd forgiven you. I know. Hi, Pavel. You found him. Well done, Pavel. What's the address? Let's go. Uh-huh. Repeat that again? Okay, we're coming. <laughs> Who's there? Pizza! That last one took you so long, huh? Traffic. Police on the now. floor! Get down. down on the ground! Now! Now! Ah. All clear! <laughs> Clear Clear. Too. My little girl. Uh, easy, 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 easy. It's oh, over, sweetie. Oh my God. Yeah. <coughs> That's all, honey. Calm down. I'm so sorry. Oh, yes, let's go. Please let's go, forgive let's go, me please. now. Everything will be fine. You hear, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Easy, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. Mommy. What are we going to do with this? Maybe we should take him out somewhere to have a preventive talk? Shh. Thank you, Papa. But please don't. You don't have sanctions. I don't want you to have any problems. Let the freak go? Let him go. Dennis! Easy, easy, easy. Hold her head, hold easy, it. Easy, easy. Yeah, come on. Come on, go on. Let's get her come some on, fresh come air. On, come on. You are the worst kind of scum. Okay, guys, all clear. <clears throat> Tanya, do you feel like eating anything? I don't want to. Please, a small piece, and then you go to bed. Mm -mm. I don't want Tanya. to. Maybe... I don't know, do you want something special? Just tell me. I'll go to the store and bring it in no time. Who are you? Tanya, dear. I've already introduced you. This is Dennis. Oh, Dennis, the first love of your life? Yeah. Will he be living with us from now on? Actually, I wanted to take you both to my place. To my town. It's beautiful. If you don't mind, of course. But why? If you don't want to, we're not going anywhere. Dennis will stay with us to protect us. And he won't leave us and he'll always be with us? Of course. Now you're my family.
Grazie. Sasha, let me go with you. I feel worried for some reason. No, you don't have to. I don't want to leave Tanya alone. Don't worry about it. It's the middle of the day, there are people around. Martinov is a normal person. I have to go now. Be careful. Are you Sasha? Yes, Mr. Martinov, I presume. Mikhail, would you like to talk in a, a cafe or in the car? Let's talk in the car. When Mr. Zorsky approached me, I immediately left for Nizhnedensk. I had to poke about the town, but mm -hmm. the result was... Oh my god, Igor, no! Oh, hey. Stay with me. Just, it's okay. Hello? Um, I need an ambulance. Uh, Please, I'm with a person and he's been shot. 29 Rubinovaya Street. No, he's alive. Please, fast try. Beg uh, you. Oh, Mikhail, the ambulance is coming. Everything's gonna be fine. Mikhail, Sasha, hang on. While I'm conscious, uh, your sister. What? She's, she's alive. What about my sister? She's alive. She's alive. Do you claim that there were no witnesses? I'm not claiming anything. Oh, I didn't see anyone. We were just talking, and Izorsky approached the car and shot. And then he threw the gun and ran away? Yes, that's right. Don't you think this is strange? Nothing about Izorsky seems strange to me, officer. All right. We'll verify your testimony. If you're telling the truth. <clears throat> wait, do you think that I shot Martinov and then called an ambulance myself? We will wait. If the injured man comes to himself and gives his testimony, we'll see. In the meantime, you'll stay here with us. Hold on, are you arresting me? But why? According to the law, I'm not arresting you, but detaining you until the circumstances are clarified. Can I make a call to home? Do I have the right to do that? We will inform your relatives that you've been detained. You don't demand your right here, we clear? Take her. Stand up. Hands behind your back. Start walking. Journalists are calling, wanting me to comment, and I don't even know what to say. Please, please, don't worry. I'll sort it all out. The reputation of the Ministry won't be damaged because of this. I won't be damaged? Let's review the facts. The first time your Igor got caught stealing, we covered it up. Well. Petty crime, we decided. He got drunk and lost it. Then a fight in a nightclub. We got away with it, too. The victim remained alive, and he stayed silent with a bribe. Thanks to you, Mr. Alexandrov. I thought you would hide him in a loony bin, but no. And now it turns out that a few days ago, he kidnapped a girl and held her in a rented apartment. Journalists found a claim from the girl's mother in a police station. What do you have to say about that? Hold on, Mr. Alexandrov, what girl? <sighs> this is the first time I've heard about that. Ask your dear son, Igor. Well, let's blame everything on Igor now. It hasn't been proved that he kidnapped someone. You don't have to prove the murder of the detective. But he's alive, the detective. For the moment. So, I'm done now. I'm sick of this. And what do you mean by that? I mean, hand in your resignation. Go wherever you like and don't call me again. And don't ask me for anything. I'm done with you. 
Miss Kornieva, get ready. You're free to go. You act like a year has passed, but it's only been one night. You, senior lieutenant, should spend a night in a cell. Let's see how you'd feel when you saw your wife. I don't have one. I'm not surprised. Can I go now? Yes. Sign here, that's all. And you may go. I'm sorry for detaining you, but those are the rules. I hope you have no issues. My things? So, let's clarify once again. Has the lady been cleared of all suspicions? Yes. The injured Martinov came by himself. He confirmed that he was shot by Isorsky. Isorsky's fingerprints were found on the gun as well. He's arrested. You are free. I am sorry. Good luck. Goodbye. If Martinov's right and Dasha's alive, where can we find her? She's almost an adult now, 16 years old. I probably wouldn't recognize her. Well, Martinov got the information about Dasha in our town. You remember the place? And this investigator, Mr. Ilian, he knows, but he hides it. I think we should go home, Sasha. We should wait until Martinov recovers. Well, Martinov can be recovering for a year. Why should we waste time? Look, Tanya is staying with her grandmother. Igor was arrested. Okay. Come on, we can even go today. Look, I'll book the tickets online. And tomorrow we'll be there already. What a big house. It's thanks to your Dennis. We thought about a tiny summer house. And thanks to him, we built a beautiful palace. Uh-huh. Imagine Sasha just on his salary. Don't be rude. What have you come here for? Tell me, the death of my family, did you build this house for something you did back then? The girl has grown up, as smart as a steel trap. She's become aggressive. You didn't answer. You know what happened in our house that night, don't you? Let's have a cup of tea with jam and crackers. Strawberries are wonderful this time of year. Who cares about strawberries? We have heard Sasha's sister is alive. What do you know about it? I beg you, don't be silent, I beg you. Please help me get my sister back to me. I can't tell you anything. I know nothing. There are a few details, but I do have one thing for you. I was holding on to this for my protection. But my conscience, frankly speaking, it's been bothering me. I'm old already. I should think about my soul. Do with this whatever you want. That's all I have. Now go. This is great! <clears throat> what took you so long, huh? Oh, I want to have a shower, then eat. And then go to bed. Let's get out of here, huh? That's all you want? Come on, come on, tell me. Tell me what you want. I'm used to it already. I've solved all your problems. 
You hot under the collar? I'm sorry. <laughs> Guess you should have brought me up better. I've always treated you properly for your mother's sake, who loved you very much. I really did. I wanted to love you. But I'm sorry. You didn't make it easy. Look, well, I... Uh, well, I hate you too. All my life, so we're even. Let's just get out of here. I was a fool to blame Sasha for anything. Uh, oh I should have stopped you. When oh you were in the God, first grade, you strangled this. a little kitten. Believe. But Arena said, don't touch him. He's small. He doesn't understand yet. I did as she said. And we raised a monster. Look, enough talking, huh? Have you settled the problem or not? I'm not gonna sit here all day long. Get me out of here. Mm-mm. I don't understand. Dad, well, 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 where are you going? Dad, don't leave. Dad! 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 I have some pickled meat. The housekeeper cooked it. <laughs> Would you like some? <laughs> no, thank you. We're fine. Well, let's drink to our meeting then. Thank you. We won't be long. Come on now. You've come as a surprise and not for long. Well, at least tell me about your life. How are you? Anything new? What is that? I promise to take care of you. You'll decide to spend it yourself, and I won't worry. I'll know you're okay then. Now please tell me, where have you been? What's been happening? Tell me everything. Nothing very special. Although, I've been trying to find out what happened back then, in the fire. I hope to find Dasha. Sasha, I've told you so many times, miracles don't happen. Why reopen old wounds? But have mercy. You should live <laughs> and be happy. I am happy, as you can see. That's amazing. They're right when they say you can't escape the inevitable. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. They also say that fate rewards itself. And it punishes too. What are you saying? Did you know that the day before his death, my father installed video cameras? No. I don't know. How do you know? The video shows everything. And most importantly, an alive Dasha. Where is she? Were there any video cameras in the house? No, there were no cameras in the house. Though I told Alexi he should install them. It's not so expensive, but safer, and... He didn't listen to me. Nevertheless, I found a firm, which the day before the fire installed video surveillance. He apparently foresaw something like this, and then secretly had some cameras installed. then, since you know everything. It makes no sense to hide things. <sighs> I 
I fell in love with your mother at first sight. And I didn't care that she was my friend's wife. I'm pregnant. I'm nine weeks along. Is this my child? Yes. What are you going... going to do? I don't know. Probably an abortion. What, are you crazy? You should have it. It's a reason to leave your husband. Igor, you must know that I will never leave Alexei. Never. You have no right to kill my child, though. What do you suggest, then? To pass it off as Alexei's? <laughs> let's do this. I will leave you alone now. And you give birth to our child. If you want, you'll be with me and the baby. If not... Well, at least I'll see the baby grow up then. That's enough of this, please. Please stop it. One in four men brings up someone else's child, you know? It's a statistic. Alexei won't even think of having doubts. He knows that he has a faithful wife. Dasha was born, and I realized that I wasn't able to keep my promise to leave her alone. Oh! Hooray! Hooray! You are my darling, my princess! Look at this candle. I got it for our baby. Who's grown up so big here? Thank you. Dasha! Dasha! And who's two years old today? Olga. I'm tired. I can no longer see Alexei call my Dasha his little princess. Be quiet. She is mine, though. Stop it, Igor. Let's go to Switzerland. I have a house there. Dasha will study in the best schools. You'll be living in luxury. Igor, this is not going to happen. I told you. It's time to tell Alexei the truth and live with the consequences. If he kicks me out, I'll take the girls and I'll live separately. And if he forgives me, we'll disappear. All of us. I don't want to let you be in our life anymore. <laughs> okay then. Don't say anything to Alexi. Let everything remain as it is. And you? Will you really be able to leave us alone? <laughs> Happy birthday! That's why you decided to kill them. I loved your mother very much. But I could not let her take my daughter away from me. Just at that time, some bandits muscled in and tried to take over my and your father's business plans. And I just took advantage of the situation. The investigator figured it out, though. Where's Dasha? Where? Where is she? Sasha. Tell me where Dasha is. Why are you silent? S Sasha! Dasha! Dasha! Calm down. Calm down. Sasha, calm down, Sasha. Dad, did you call me? Go back to your room, please. Dasha? Dasha? Dad, who is this? Dasha, listen, I'm your sister. We had our mom and our dad. We lived in a big house. I'll tell you everything later. Are you crazy? Get away from me. Who is she? 
Dasha, he's a murderer. He destroyed everything. Who is this? Why do you let her talk like this? Don't pay attention. Sasha is just upset. She once lost her family, and it seems to her that you are her sister. Hey, why don't we leave the girls here to talk, huh? I have something to tell you, too. Dasha, dear, please listen to my story. It was 14 years ago. We had a really big house and a happy family with our mom and dad. But then one terrible night, some murderers came and shot our parents and burned the house down, but saved you from the fire. He is the one who brought them there. Listen to me. I don't know who you are or why you're saying these bad things. You lost your family and now you want to destroy ours. She doesn't believe me. My family is my father. And I don't care about you or your relatives. Dad, ask them to leave. I don't want to hear this. Let's go, let's go, come on. Good girl. He should be in prison. Well, did you think about Dasha? I mean, he's her father, right? She'd be an orphan. Well, what can I do? Look, you found her and she's alive. Be happy. You put him in prison, and what? I'm sure God will punish him. Don't ruin her life. She'll never forgive you for that. You're right. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Dasha? Dasha's here. <laughs> Dasha? I've just come to tell you that I don't remember you, but I know my father and he's the best. Don't interfere with our lives. Yes, you're right. I understand you don't have to, to be happy to see me. I won't bother you anymore, but um, I wanted to give you this. Here's a photo of our past happy life. And here is what they did to it. But I really don't remember you. Let's go. Now, let's blow out the candle. So, 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 so. Okay. All right, let's gather around the candle. One. Happy birthday. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> One. Uh, two, two, three! three. Yeah. Do it, do it! <sighs> Yay! <laughs> and here, here is my gift, okay? Come on now. Igor, but you're spoiling Can't her. I give a gift to my sweetheart, Dasha? There you go, huh? And since I have two I sweethearts, Sasha here, are. as the saying goes, each oh. sister Oh, should wow. get equal gifts from their beloved uncle. Oh, good morning, princess. Are you sure? What does that mean, huh? <laughs> is my girl in a bad mood? Why do you have this bag here? Dad, that is... I've actually watched the video. And Sasha gave me the photograph. There's everybody there, me, her, and mom and dad. I didn't sleep all night. I understand, dear. This is stressful. And I remembered a lot. Dad, did you kill them? Tell me the truth. Dad. Or whoever you are. 
Did you kill them? Tell me. Try to understand, okay? <laughs> it had been coming. I couldn't have done otherwise. I was afraid of losing you. You're saying it so calmly, though. You killed my mom. My own mother. You think I could understand that? Dasha, listen to me. I thought you were good and you killed my family. I am your family. And I didn't kill them. But you were there. You're everything that I have. I can do things for you. Maybe you can return my mother back to me. Dasha, the two of us were happy together. We were. And I loved you very much, Dad. But I can't live here anymore. You can forget you have a daughter now. Goodbye. Uh, 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 Dasha, dear! Dasha! So what's the occasion? What's all this? They called me from the salon. They asked me to come back. Did you agree to it? They're proposing the leading stylist position. Wow. wow. That's great. That's yeah, really wonderful. Yeah, great. Well, Sasha, we have some news for you as well. Well, what are you up to? We had a serious conversation. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I asked Tanya for your hand. And, and she sort of doesn't mind. These are for you. Will you marry me, Sasha? Go ahead, kiss the bride. Come on, ta -da. Pretty cool, huh? So, show me what you can. Now, take it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, took the ball, did you? No, do you know this move? Easy, ah, easy, no. yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Slavic, get up. I'll have to wash it all over again. Go home and do your please, homework. Mom. Don't you mom me. I said go home and do your homework right now. But please, at least while Dad's here. Well, Dad is leaving. Lena, what's the problem? I have free time. What is this show? Bad mom, good dad. Just stop it. Slavic. Next time I'll bring the hoop. Invite your friends and we'll play a normal basketball game. And now go home to your homework. Don't irritate mom. Okay. Huh? I'll take the spinning rod and we'll go fishing. Okay? Okay. Okay, bye. Go on and continue trying to buy him. Of course, you left us and now you come here like a fairy magician, right? Well done. Why are you starting this again? Do you think he needs your fishing rod? He needs his father. You know, I'm not so strong and he's growing. He, he needs something all the time. He needs a coat, a cell phone. That's and... enough, just stop. You should have just started the conversation with it. How much do you need? A lot. I'm not going to bear the burden alone here, okay? Mm -hmm. 
By the way, your mother agrees with me. If you want to see a child, you must pay. All right, then. I'm going to pay you twice as much. Then I can see Slavic and take him to my place sometimes. <laughs> well, we'll see. First, I'll make a list of things to buy, and you'll buy everything on it. Then we'll agree on how much money you'll give us a month, and if everything works out, then you get to see him on weekends. And if not, then goodbye. Claire? Yeah. All right. Lena. Remember the fairy tale about the woman who wanted too much and lost everything? Ah, after all, you're a magician. <laughs> I've always wondered how you managed to make Marlena Dietrich out of such an old hat trick. Stop asking for compliments. You are beautiful. I just bring it out. And I, by the way, have a new admirer. Mm. A 70-year-old general. I should remember to take nitroglycerin on a date. <laughs> God forbid he has a heart attack from excitement. Oh, Miss Vasilieva. Thank you very much, my dear. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat>